All right, today I'm going to show you the Abbey Road River technique. Okay, uh, it's a technique that I learned so many years ago, and no ask me why. <laughs> I forgot about it. And a few months later, you know, a friend told me about it. And then I remember it. Said, oh, yeah, that technique is so cool. So, and what is that? Just easy. So, back in the day, you know, in the Abbey Road Studios, for feet, the vocals and not well, many the vocals, but also this work, you know, on the instruments too. They use filters to fit better the vocals in the mix. This is why I have Pro Tools already open and let's check it out. All right, so we are here in Pro Tools. For this one, when I use the stock river from Pro Tools, okay, so this is free. This is a diver. A lot of people doesn't like it, but actually it's a pretty cool river. I use it so many times. Oh, I forgot to show this. The diver is not a bad all because I recorded this band uh, like a year ago. They call this roller and they sound like this. cool right yeah this sounds huge and evil and I, I use that river that's it okay so it's not that bad now I use another one which is the the Valhalla vintage river okay and that one is pretty cool too because that one that I have like a more tones more colors I want to show you that later because that one came with already with a filter you know inside the plugin but this one not it's half only the, like a low pass filter, and, but that's it. So let's see how the vocal sound, you know, with a regular river. And one more thing, I totally forgot this. Um, the band you wanna listen today on this video, they call Benderheads, and I'm going to share, you know, the, those two songs on the description box, you know, below there. And, and then again, I use the same river for the whole thing, okay? Okay, so now let's use a filter. Let's use the regular plugin. This is the the EQ came free with with Pro Tools, and let's move this here and let's move this here, and then and then you will feel how the vocals have like a less ramble on the low end. And, and then on the highs, you know, it's gonna sound better, no, not that harsh, okay? So let's see, off, off, check this out. Ah, pathetic, blind crawling, human nature's bad violent. Ah, pathetic, blind crawling, human nature's bad violent. Now let's see on and off, okay? Ah, pathetic, blind crawling, human nature's bad violence. Ah, pathetic, blind crawling, human nature's bad violence. Okay, pretty cool, right? Makes like a, the vocals sounds more on focus. And then that you wanna feel more with the whole mix, okay? But let's focus with just with the vocals right now. And for making this more a little more real, you know, um, for example, this river is pretty clean, okay? It's fine, it's nothing wrong about it. We use a red filters, you know, and because it's a, called the Abbey Road technique, let's put a little more noise. And why noise? Good question. Because, you know, uh, back in the day, they use all like uh, analog gear. And as you know, 
analog ear always make you that kind of noise, you know? So for that, I have this. This is the Mac ESP. This is the 6060 Ultimate Model Collection. It's pretty cool plugins, by the way. But let's focus on the distortion, OK? Let's put this everything zero, OK? And actually, you can use any plugin, OK? Any, any plugin for distortion. But I want to use this for today. And let's see how it, how the vocals change. It's just for a little bit. It's just a matter of taste, OK? Of course, I want to I wanna put every extreme, and then you can notice what am I doing, but it's like I'll say, you know, it's more like a, uh, it's more taste. See? Ah, pathetic, blind boy, human nature, bad violence. Apathetic, blood crawling, human nature, bad violence. Apathetic, blood crawling, human nature, bad violence. Apathetic, blood crawling, human nature, bad violence. One more time. Apathetic, blood crawling. Human nature's bad violence, apathetic, blood crawling. Human nature's bad violence. Okay, pretty cool, right? Now let's see how all these effects sound in the mix, and then you will feel how the vocals fit way better, and also it's gonna be more focused in the mix. Okay, and by the way, everything here is. Zero. The only effects of plugins I have is only on the river section. You know, the river is going to uh, a specific scent. Okay, and even you know, with this kind of like a uh, raw mix, the vocal is gonna sound way better. So check this out. Let's put this here. The distortion. Come on. Okay. And uh, we have the river, just in case you want to see it. It's right there, OK? So I'm going to turn off or bypass the filter and the distortion, and I will leave this as it is. And then you will notice the difference, OK? So let's see. Check this out. So what do you think? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, sounds way better just with the filter and a little bit of distortion. That's it. Yeah. That's the Abbey Road technique. Now, let me show you this other river I started using now. This is from the brand Valhalla plugins. Let's find that. There's the Valhalla Vintage Verb. For example, now I use this one, but this one I don't need. Uh, let me bypass that. I mean this. <laughs> and for this one, I don't need the filter because they they have these filters already here, as you see. The color is because this is a vintage verb. They they give you the seventies color, eighties my favorite. Actually, seventies seventies is pretty cool too. Depends on the project, but that depends. But this is my go-to eighties all all day. And they have now, this is like a how new rivers of this one sound, you know, clean. That's the point. If you want clean river, they they got it. 
But let's do this. And let's see, we can do the same. Okay. All right. So let's see how this sound. Okay. Oh, for example, when it's the 80s, this, for example, this mimic, kind of mimic the classic river uh, racks, for example, the Yamaha, the X, XPX90, and the, and the Alice is quite a bear. Okay. That's the kind of sound they give you. Those are so good too. <laughs> and also they give you like that kind of sound of the lexicon old, old gear too. So it's a mix of those three, okay? But it's more lexicon and then Yamaha and then whatever. This is where my ears feel, but this sounds so good. Okay. So let's see, let's find um I want this plate. And to, 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 to play, and let's do this. So let's do this. I want a dark play. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Change this. It is plate. Come on. Dark play. Cool. We see how this sound. Now let's see how they sound in the mix, okay? So just in case, you know, this brand, it doesn't sponsor me, but I love their products, okay? And just for make this a little more fun, let's add extra distortion here, okay? So I wanna start with this river and then I wanna put this back and forth, okay? Let's see how this sound. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with a little bit of distortion plus this color of, of the 80s, for this particular uh, mix, sounds way better. <laughs> so I hope you like it, and that's it for today. This is a pretty cool river, so like like I said, you can use, it doesn't matter which though are you working, with Pro Tools, Cubase, Reaper. I know they have their own uh, EQ, Maybe they have their own kind of distortion, and they and, and I know they have, of course they own kind of river, and then you can use the same trick with that and try it on on, on rooms, you know. I mean, on, on, I mean, like on the room drums in our heads, and and also with the backing vocals, especially with vocals. This is a pretty cool trick. Okay, so that's it. Bye, guys.